Hi there and welcome to my 12 week pregnancy update. So uh, yeah, I'm 12 weeks pregnant. I've made it this far. I can't quite believe it. So I'm actually 12 weeks and four days pregnant. The sonographer actually changed my due date by a day. So instead of being the 6th of May, um, they've said that my due date will be the 7th of May. So it's pretty close. Um, so all my dates have been pretty good up until now. Yes, I finally made it to 12 weeks, woo! Um, I haven't filmed my announcement video yet, so um, I'm still keeping it quite quiet. Um, obviously I've told my work colleagues, because obviously I was going to the scan, um, but I haven't told many other people. The baby's liver and spleen are now producing blood cells, and the pancreas is beginning to release the digestive enzymes. The baby's liver accounts for 10% of the total weight, which is about half an ounce by now. The muscular system and the nervous system are responding to each other, and the baby is now able to bend, stretch, kick, and even make faces. The movements are not recurring in response to any particular stimulation, but they are occurring nonetheless. Apparently the sex of the baby is becoming more pronounced, and the kidneys now produce urine from the amniotic fluid that he or she ingests. Uh, but obviously the lungs, because the baby won't need those until birth, all the oxygen that the baby needs is coming from the placenta. Maternity clothes, um, I am kind of, my standard wardrobe is pretty much leggings and jumpers or leggings and shirts, so I've kind of just been wearing that. My mum has bought me an odd, the odd few stripy dresses, um, sort of bodycon things that are comfortable. I have been wearing tights because um, they seem to be okay and just buying them in bigger sizes and that seems to be working. If I buy actual maternity tights they're for like a huge bump which obviously I haven't got yet. I did buy, I've reordered the maternity jeans from ASOS but I haven't tried them on yet so I'll let you know next week how they are fitting but yes I haven't bought any other maternity items. I think it's about time I went into the attic and got out the few maternity bits that I put away last time. Um, so that they're ready and available if I need to wear them. No stretch marks yet, but I've still been pretty lax on the uh, body butter application. I actually went to a spa week last week for mine and Nick's wedding anniversary, and I bought some, I wanted something to like prevent stretch marks, but I think what she's actually given me is stuff for stretch marks. Um, it's like a restructuring gel, and obviously I don't actually have any stretch marks yet, I just want to prevent them occurring. Um, so I'm not sure whether I should be using that or not. I think I'm going to carry on using the body butter now and then maybe near the end of my pregnancy I'll use the other stuff. Sleep. Sleep hasn't been too bad. Um, Nick's been away this week so I've had the bed to myself so I've been sleeping quite well actually. So the best moment this week has to be the 12 week scan. Yay! I can't believe that we've made it this far. Like I've sort of been not allowing myself to get too excited because obviously we've had two miscarriages now and the fact that we've made it this far is just wonderful. So I do have some pictures to show you. I can't believe how clear they are. They seem to have really improved since when I had scan pictures with Rosalie. Of the baby. And this one close up. And this little one of him waving with his hand up. I don't know if you can see that's his, I say he he or she's little hands there. We're gonna have a visitor in a minute. And this is from above. So this is, that's the baby's head and that's their arm and their little hand with fingers. Mummy, I was crying. You was crying, was you? Yeah. What happened? So are you excited to be a brother or sister? To have a baby brother or sister? No. You don't want to have a baby brother or sister. It's the wrong time to ask you really, isn't it? So, miss anything, again, pate, cheese, just those. And the like, having really hot baths is a really annoying one. Movement. I'll put some makeup on. Okay, you go put some makeup on. I haven't felt any movement yet. Um, so yeah, nothing going on down there, yep. I, don't, I can't remember when it is you start feeling things actually. Mummy, no, so I've got some lipstick. Yeah, you put some on then. Mummy doesn't need any, does she? She's got some on already. Yeah. 
gender. Uh, we don't know yet. I did ask the sonographer in our scan. So I did ask the sonographer if she could see anything, whether it was a boy or a girl, and she did scan in that area. And the baby's legs were like open, they were like frog's legs, and you could see something between their legs that wasn't very long. Just like a little white bump. But obviously, I don't know if that was the umbilical cord or if it was a little willy. I was like, oh, is that a willy? But she would not confirm or deny whether it was or not, which I completely understand. And we have booked an early gender scan for the end of November. So I've only got like four weeks to wait and then we will know for sure. Labour signs, no, nothing at all. Just, excuse me while I just get my nose powdered. And then, oh, lovely. Thank you very much. Symptoms. So my only symptom is my boobs are getting bigger. We, I was actually sat down on the sofa earlier and two of my buttons on my <laughs> chair popped open. And I was like, oh, I hope I haven't been walking around Aldi like that because we just got back from being out. My boobs have got bigger. My bump is getting bigger. It's not too big yet. I can still kind of hide it. I've got normal jeans on today. Um, but when I do bend over, the waistband does dig in and it is getting a bit painful, so I think I'm going to have to go back to the maternity jeans Bye. or leggings. No real sickness. I still haven't actually been sick, like had morning sickness, like thrown up. Um, I've got stickers on my slippers. Ever been making you feel queasy or sick? Nothing in particular, just the usual things like taking out the rubbish and gross things like that. But nothing really too bad. I think you're a mummy and you have to deal with poo, so nothing really phases me anymore. Although sick, I hate sick. If Rosalie's sick, I'm like, ugh. But thank goodness she hasn't been ill for a long time. Belly button in or out is definitely still in and hopefully it will stay in. Wedding rings are on. Hopefully they'll stay that way. My fingers, I don't think I'd be able to get this off now. My fingers have swelled a little. Happy or moody? Very happy. So happy to be at 12 weeks. It really is. I didn't think I'd make it this far. I'm gonna clean the board. You wanna clean your teeth? Yeah. Okay, let me put some on for you there. Yeah, I don't There you go. Lovely clean in. How I feel. I feel really good. I feel really positive. I just have got some things to do. Obviously, I need to I need to make my announcement video so I can get that out. I'm waiting for it to rain. All will be revealed when all these videos go live. And it hasn't rained for like the last two weeks, which is really inconvenient. So I need to get that filmed. I need to edit all these weekly updates so I can post those. So actually I've got a lot of work to do in the next few weeks. I kind of was putting it off because I did it all in the past with my previous pregnancies and then obviously I miscarried so it was all like worthless. So I've kind of been putting off doing it this time round and obviously <laughs> things have gone to plan. Excuse me, excuse me, she's cleaning her teeth. So things have gone to plan this time round which I wasn't really expecting. So yeah, I'm a little behind but I will be catching up soon. Looking forward to, I guess the gender scan is the big one in the next four I weeks. Yes. Oh, thank you. Do you want to put it in the sink for me? I don't, I'll know something up there. I'll let up. Yeah. Uh, go, go and put that in the sink for me. In that one up there. Oh, in mummy's sink. Yeah, so I'm looking forward to finding out whether we're having a girl or a boy. I'm also looking, hopefully by the end of the month, I'll have, you know, done my announcement video and all these updates will be up and I'll be ahead and back in the game that'd be nice to be you know where I should be and everything be up to date that will be a nice feeling <laughs> so yeah that's the end of my 12 week update I hope you've enjoyed seeing like how I'm doing in this pregnancy Rosalie I hope you've enjoyed seeing our scan pictures and thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video thanks bye